Hello and welcome. I'm Dr. Sunanda Roy and today we will look at some tips and ideas for teachers to bring about social, economic and cultural inclusion in classroom. So let's begin. If we look around, we can find that there is a small percentage of our society who are excluded due to some kind of diversity or disability. An inclusive school aims at including such members of the society in schools. But we must remember that inclusive schools should consist of a small percentage of the marginalized or excluded individuals. A school which has higher population of students with challenges or disabilities as compared to the neurotypical students cannot really be called an inclusive school. This is because an inclusive school reflects a mini society. Hence, students are able to adjust effectively into the society after completing their schooling from inclusive schools. Inclusive schools follow many practices to include students with different challenges and disabilities. These could be practices that help in physical inclusion, mental inclusion, emotional inclusion, social inclusion, economic inclusion and cultural inclusion. The first three practices are related to classroom teaching learning strategies and using various assistive devices. You could check out my videos on these strategies and assistive devices. In this video, we will look at a few ideas that will help teachers bring about social, economic and cultural inclusion. We begin with social inclusion. Students coming from socially disadvantaged backgrounds are educationally deprived. In the Indian context, the right to education in 2009 has given such students the opportunity to be educated in affluent schools to get good quality education. Now, the teachers face challenges trying to include such students into their classrooms, especially making the other students accept these students. Here are some ideas that can help in social inclusion of students coming from diverse backgrounds. Using teaching strategies like cooperative learning and group activities help in breaking down barriers between students. Research has shown that when students work together, they realize that there's hardly any difference between them. An important point or tip is that teachers should always accept all types of students as they are the role models for acceptance. See, in a classroom, students often imitate the behavior of teachers. So, if the teacher includes diverse students in the classroom activities, then the other students also start accepting each other without any discrimination. So, while planning any activity, the teacher should follow a zero-tolerance policy against exclusion. That means, teachers should try to include all types of students, irrespective of their backgrounds, in co-curricular and extracurricular activities. These activities like um, group competitions or dramas, picnics, etc. encourage a lot of social interaction among students. As a teacher, it is important to give opportunities to as many students as possible to participate in various activities. This will make students experience a sense of as if they belong to the class. Even they have the sense of belonging to that school. It should be noted that social inclusion is a very important determinant of health. Without inclusion, people are more likely to experience poor health, including poor mental health. Even loneliness, isolation and poor self-esteem can creep into a child if they feel socially isolated. After all, man is a social animal. Hence, it becomes very essential for teachers to focus on bringing about social inclusion. Economic inclusion refers to equality of opportunity for all members of the society to get quality education irrespective of their economic background. To ensure that students from economically challenged backgrounds can continue with their education, 
teachers should inform them about various scholarships and economic assistance given by the government or even non-government agencies. The next idea is to use inexpensive materials for school activities. Now, project work is a very popular teaching methodology followed by teachers all over the world. And often assessments are done based on these project work. Project work is really a very good methodology because it is following the principle of learning by doing. So here students learn by doing something and it's really very good. However, as teachers, we should be careful about the material and resources required by the students to complete the project. As a teacher, you could ask students to prepare models using inexpensive materials. There are many ideas that are available online over the internet for making such models using everyday things or even waste material. This way the teachers can ensure that students from different economic backgrounds can include in the project work without any additional financial demands on their parents. Another important tip is to avoiding passing improper remarks regarding economic diversity or challenge. Teachers need to be very careful while speaking about the economically challenged or people living in poverty. There is no need to even show pity. Instead, teachers can highlight the strength of the impoverished who have overcome some kind of hardships. There are so many real life examples of people who have succeeded in life despite of coming from economically challenged backgrounds. Teachers should use such examples to encourage students. Cultural inclusion becomes very important in countries like India which has huge cultural diversity. Teachers should recognize, appreciate and take advantage of the diversity so as to enrich the overall learning experiences. Such a learning environment really encourages all individuals, you know, regardless of their age or their gender, ethnicity, religious affiliations, socioeconomic status, sexual orientations or even political beliefs. It helps to develop personal contacts and effective intercultural skills. Teachers can encourage students to talk about all these differences without making any judgments. Next is to adopt a pluralistic attitude where all cultures are accepted and each one's uniqueness is celebrated. So teachers can conduct discussions or even celebrate festivals of different religions. Diverse food, clothing, language, rituals, etc. All these can be included in classroom activities. Though there are differences in religious practices, we all know that all religions preach the same values. And this is exactly what needs to be highlighted, encouraging cultural inclusion. The other important tip is that instructional strategies or even instructions should not conflict with the values, beliefs or cultural practices of any students. During teaching, the teacher should be very careful while giving examples. There are students of different religion who are there in the classroom and the teacher should never give examples that may hurt the sentiments of the students of a particular section of the society. So these were some of the tips and ideas to bring about social, economic and cultural inclusion in classrooms. When students experience some or all of these inclusive practices in their school life, they are more likely to be happier and healthier. If you would like to read more about social and cultural inclusion, you can visit these websites. You can also check out my earlier videos on different inclusive teaching strategies that help to bring about inclusion in classrooms. 
The links to the references and my videos are given in the description box and it will also appear on the screen. If you find the tips and ideas in this video useful, please like and share the video and also consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.